Yo, 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 16 Beats, um, founder of mastermixing.com. Um, and yeah, today is just going to be a very, very quick tutorial on um, how to convert 32 bit sounds or 32 bit drum samples to 24 bit or 16 um, bit drum samples. Now, this is mainly an issue if you use Logic Pro X. Um, I believe for Fruity Loops, 16 or 32 bits is fine. Um, let me just double check actually, because I can't remember which one doesn't work on Logic X, because Logic X only plays a certain type of drum sample, and sometimes you might buy a drum pack or download a pack, and you're trying to um, you're trying to um, preview it in Logic, and it's not working, or you try and bring it in, and it just sounds distorted and just mad that's because logic doesn't use that specific um type of drum sample so what i'm going to do is just quickly go to drum kit and test which bit is working so i know um that i'm not trying to shit basically screw see you get don't worry about what my hard drive my hard drive is good Games. Um, perks. Okay. Yeah, 16 bit works on Logic. It's 32 that doesn't. Um, for example, yeah, perfect. Perfect. Um, these two are in 32 bit, so they won't work in Logic. I'm not sure how it works for Pro Tools or Reason or Cubase or any of that other stuff. I know FL Studio works with both 32 and 16 bit. But if you have 32-bit um, drum samples, stuff like this, and you want to use it in Logic and you're frustrated, I'm going to show you how to sort that out real quick. All right, so what you need to do is you need to download something called Media Human Audio Converter. This thing is amazing. What it will do is, if you just upload, if you literally select, so let's say yeah, I wanted to change every song in this whole folder, every song. If I wanted to change every drum sample in this whole folder to... Um, 16 bit from 32 bit I can literally select it here and it will change all of the drum samples in that same folder without having to put it anywhere new or without having to create a new folder it will literally just replace the sounds in that old folder um, with 16 bit versions or 24 bit if you choose 24 bit as opposed to 32 bit um, if you want to keep your old 16 bit um, your old 32-bit um, files just as a backup or whatever, you could always just duplicate that folder and store it somewhere else and then come back in and do this. So I'm just going to select this drum kit. Right, and I believe I went into perks. So I literally just select the whole perks folder open files to add all supported and i changed it the donut add folders recursively you want to do that i don't know what it means but you, you want to do that open what's that gonna what that's gonna do now is literally every single sound here is loaded into here all right so the next thing you're going to want to change is wav wav 24 bit if you want 24 bit or WAV 4800, 48, yeah, 4800 hertz, 48,000 hertz. Um, most of the time it's 44,100, so just keep on that or the WAV, but yeah, WAV here. Another thing you're going to want to do is change the, set, the settings or the preferences to, oh yeah, here's where you want to change the WAV, um, my apologies. So this being 16 bit, this being 24 bit, this being 8 bit, you don't want to use that. Um, either 16 bit or 24 bit. If you've got 32 bit and 32 bit isn't working, um, stereo keeps the same. Now, if you wanted to keep this folder intact and nothing done to it, you could uncheck this, convert to source folder, and select a new folder for new the new um, sounds to go. So you could create a new folder called 16 bit drum sounds or something like that. And whenever you do a conversion, all of the sounds will go there. Me personally. Because I'll never need 32-bit sounds because I have Logic, I just convert the sounds in the same folder and get over and done with there. 
to a converter source folder. Um, this isn't important. As a matter of fact, I don't know why I have that selected. And then, yeah, literally just press convert. Snap of a finger, it's all done. It's like converting. I love that sound. I love that sound. It's like a little rifle or something, a little pelican. And just like that, all of the files, all of the drum samples in the folder have now become 16-bit and I'm now able to use them in Logic Pro. So, I'm just going to quickly refresh, go back to perks. I believe it was something keys, dope keys, drop keys. There we go. Working now. So now they can be used. And on top of that, any other song, sound that was 32-bit is now 16-bit in here. Yeah. So again, that program, I've closed it, smart me, is Media Human Audio Converter. Where do you get it from? Let me Google that for you. Free Audio Converter, keyword. I really hope this is the same one. Yeah, then you can just download, um, and I'm sure they've got Windows version as well. So yeah, Mac OS and Windows. So yeah, there you go. Get it from here. Um, great company. Donate. Um, I haven't, but you might as well. Someone will go pay for it. Um, but yeah, hopefully this has been helpful. Again, another quick vid. Um, stay tuned. Just watch some of other tutorials that I've got going on. I'm trying to get better at this. So any suggestions that you've got for me, anything you want to know, um, just let me know. And yeah, all right. Bless up and have a good day.